Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunsey, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse. <laughs>
The show Thank is you. Horses Sing None of It, or in this case, Horses Don't Fiddle and Piano Play None of It. <laughs> and our guest is Sonas, which, tell me again what it means in Gaelic. That's a happiness Happiness. Mm -hmm. How appropriate. It's happiness making so. music. We hope so. Mm -hmm. And Sonas is Amy, next to me here, mm -hmm. and Tina. Tina. Yep. And Margie. Hi. Who coincidentally, <laughs> we lived across the street from each other 20 years ago. Yeah, over 20, probably over 20 years. Long time ago. Well, I remember it's 20 because we moved out of the neighborhood when my daughter was about to be born, and she's just turned 20 in oh, June. Okay. All so right. it was oh. 22 to 20 years ago. Okay. Wow. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Makes you feel old. Yeah, it does oh. make you feel old. <laughs> yeah. So how did you get interested in Cape Breton music? Well, actually, Tina was the one that, that started the whole thing. Yeah, I'm the culprit. She's the one. I got started, um, believe it or not, to, I went to go see Riverdance. And... Um, the, the fiddler in that show at that time, we're going back about 12 years ago, was Eileen Ivers, who is a very renowned Irish fiddler. And um, she has, in fact, been on the show. Oh, has she? Yeah. 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 The, uh, great, great. Tommy great. Sands and Mick uh, Maloney. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Good musicians. She's yeah. awesome. Uh, anyway, and uh, I had a fiddle that I had at home that I tried and didn't have much success with. Put it under the bed went to go see River Dance. I was just so blown away by the music in that show. I said, I gotta get that fiddle out. <laughs> and I got the fiddle out and I tried to teach myself. In fact, I did teach myself for a few years on my own, not reading music. And then uh, I, through that, I got into Cape Breton music and Scottish fiddling and oh, all these genres of fiddling. And I hired Amy to teach me how to read, because I could only play by ear. So I taught, she, I hired her to teach me how to read music. And she got hooked. And, she uh, got hooked. Yeah. And she was and a classical she, musician, too. She was a, she's, she was a <laughs> classical violist. Yeah. And um, then I got her into it, and then Margie's my sister. So I got her into it. Yeah, and she, then we went played, to, well, we went to, uh. You played that CD for me that one time, a Cape Breton yeah. CD, she said this is, awesome the piano accompaniment yeah. is like perfect with the fiddle you have to listen to this and cd then we and actually started going mm -hmm. to cape breton to uh, summer workshops there oh, to cool. learn this music yeah. from uh -huh. the masters themselves and we all went uh not last year but the year prior i went last year and uh ever since we went together we came back and we started practicing every night not really with the idea of forming a group. We were just doing it for fun. Just enjoying it. Was just, so just enjoying it. It's just so much fun. And we started getting gigs. <laughs> so <laughs> then said we started that good in the Irish pub. Yeah, yeah. we started getting gigs. We so just started playing people, for people, like at people house really parties took and to stuff. the music. They loved it. They love it. Yeah. That's great. Uh, so um, we had to come up with a name, which was torturous. It was easier <laughs> to name our kids. <laughs> <laughs> really, it really was. Uh, and here we are. Great. Well, why don't you give us another set of music? Okay. okay. Unless you want to tell us about the first set. Well, um, Amy's good at what she puts the sets together. She's the one that's uh, yeah, yeah, the set builder. The first set. Um, a couple of Strathspeys. Crooked Strathspeys? Yeah, that was the Strathspeys Scottish. <laughs> I learned all those from books, actually. Um, Crookies. The second one was Father Angus. Memories of Father Angus. Memories of Father Angus. And then Lord and then Seaforth. We did a bunch of reels. Yeah, a bunch of reels. I think they were all Scottish, that, that set. They were, they were all Scottish, traditional Scottish. The next set's going to be jigs, blast of jigs. Jigs. Mm -hmm. A blast of jigs. A blast of jigs. A blast of jigs. Is that an actual term of art, a blast? Um. Or is that just For Sonus it is. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to use it a lot. Yeah. A blast of jigs. A blast right? of jigs. Great, take it away. <laughs> the monkey, right? Yeah. Is it the monkey and Jordy? <laughs>
good. Thank you. Well, we should let folks know how they can find out more information about Sona. Should they be interested in where you're performing, or if you have a? I think the best uh, thing that we have going right now is our MySpace page. We're working on a website that's not up yet. So the, the what's the um, MySpace? Uh, well, www.myspace. Dot com slash I don't know if it's back or forward whatever, whatever kind of slash it is Sonus Fiddlers it's one word it's we a regular slash it's a yeah. regular slash okay and that has samples of our music and um, pictures and um, our schedules on there and they can contact us through there great well yeah. we also have an email too which Sonus is Fiddlers at you Yahoo .com. Yahoo .com. Yeah. That's yep. Yep. also another way yeah and they can be put on our mailing list, so you know we'll send them <coughs> little uh, emails of uh, events that we're involved in, and also the, the shows that we have upcoming. <laughs> Great. Are you all local? Pretty much. Pretty much. Well, I'm in Morris Mar County. Yeah. And I, I'm in Bergen I'm County, in and she's uh, not in Bergen County, but a few towns yeah, away from me, next to the county. county. Ten minutes away from me. Yeah. So we're pretty close. And in distance to each other. We try to get together as often as we can to practice and fool around with some new sets and you know. Great. We always, we always have a good time. We always have fun. It sure looks like you're having yeah, fun. Yeah, we do. <laughs> well, why don't you have some more fun? Okay. Give us another set. All right. Um, do you want to do Middle Gal? Or homeward bound? Yeah, homeward bound. Which one? Homeward bound. Okay. We're gonna do another set. I think this is actually they're mostly Irish. They might be mixed, Scottish and Irish traditional. Um, what what always happens with the we, with these sets is you kind of start off at you know a certain tempo, and especially if you're playing about four or five songs in a set. You start off at a certain tempo and then you gradually just build it and build it until by the time you get to the last tune. Hopefully people are hopefully people are tapping their feet, but it almost it takes on a life of its own. You sometimes yeah. don't know where you're gonna go with it. But um, that's what makes it so much fun. It's just so free and you just you know, you just go with it and feel it. And that that's what makes it so much fun. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna do a set of about, I don't know, five or six different tunes. If we can get
We just have time to thank you for being our guest on Horses Don't Fiddle None of It. <laughs> it's been great. We had great fun. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, thank you, you very much. Here. And maybe you had a good time. take it out with a, another tune. Sure. Yeah. If you tell me what key it is, and I might be able to play uh, some harmonica on it if that's not yeah. sacrilegious. All right. Um, we could do um, Mason's Apron or Williford or... Uh, horn pipes. Um, Hurry up. <laughs> Neil Gow. Okay, is this going to be an air, a slow Scottish air that's in D? Is it in D? It's in okay. D. Okay. 